Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to add play game services to your game. So what is this play game services? Well, it helps acquire and engage and retain players with premium features like automatic sign, leaderboards, achievements and friends and lots more. It is like PlayStation and Xbox where you do a certain in-game action and it will reward you. I know it sounds very interesting and easy to add. It is very helpful for engaging the players which is very good for your profits if you have one. <laughs> so this is going to be a series of three part or trilogy including this video. So in this first video it's going to be all about the setup. You might ask like there's a lot of tutorial on this topic Supin. Why do you want to create a series on this? Well most of them are outdated and uses the old UI of Google Play console. And there's a all new things to come to you on Google Play console itself. I have struggled a lot on creating my game uh, game services. Yeah, that's why I'm just creating this series on this topic. So in this video, we are going to set up the Google Play game services in the Google Play console. So let's go, Marios. So yeah, we are guys at the Google Play console actually. So actually, I have created a new app. If you want to see, you can go there. And you can see we have created a new app, Flappy Bird. Yes, <laughs> I have created Flappy Bird game, guys. So what is the? So I have already, if you go to production and production sorry, sorry, releases, that you have a test. Uh, in that, I actually, I uploaded a ABB file. With it, it has a key store. It is very very important. So don't forget the key store matter. So guys, actually, the key store is nothing but a certificate for your app, actually. So don't worry about it too much. So for that, you, so if you want to create a key store for your project, you can just go to your project settings and layer to public settings. And there you have you can go to key to key store manager and you can create a new one, which will automatically um, get a key to. So nothing about it. And okay, so what first we are going to do is go to play game services, setup and management, configuration. If you want, if you have already used like uh, Firebase, Firestore, any kind of Google things, uh, you can go with the Google. Yes, my game already uses Google APIs, but you, you don't use any kind of Google APIs. You can go with the second option. And this game name, and you yeah, create. It takes some while, guys. Okay, so now we are into the real business. So first we have to create the OAuth console screen in the Google Cloud Store. So that's very very important. So we'll just configure that. So actually guys, <laughs> let us click here actually. So we are going to the new, so this is Google Cloud Platform. So we have to do some configurations here. So you are going to for external create and you have to dis uh, display everything you want. So okay, I'm yes, okay. Uh, you have to add your email ID. So of course, add it. It will. So guys, you don't want to fill these, so okay, you can just go and save and continue. Okay, so you have to again type your your email address. So I'm going to hide the email because it's my personal email actually. So if you want, you can do these, but not required for this. So you have to go for credentials. You have to create a credentials. And you have to create a OAuth client ID and go to Android. First, we'll do Android. So, we'll just type if you want any kind of thing. Uh, I'll go to type in Flappy. And this is a package name. You can know actually this is 
dot com uh, dot com so it's like the um, no you can find it in your unity thing itself guys so if you go on to your i think it's like in your project settings okay. so this is a very very important one the sha uh, s h a um, asterisk one subject so this is actually your um, the key store that's why we need so key store so for this we have to go for see there and i am going to browse this anyway you can see the share and copy that one and paste it and just create it that's it and actually we are going to create another credential you don't want to do that we will create another one what i did like this time web application i can i am going to name this as word nothing to need it so great so that's it uh, done with the google cloud platform it's going to take some while because it has to refresh the thing and there you go so we are to again we are to add credentials to this so first we are going to create an uh, android for that and you can just create a It's just like click and click, guys. But sometimes it takes a lot of while to set up this if you're not not unknown to these. Then again, we have we have to add a credential for game server. And that's it guys all the setup required for a game is very well done and actually it's quick and easy and guys the one tip when you're going to launch the game I mean launching the game you just press review and publish okay it's going to activate the play game services if you don't do it it doesn't happen okay and actually you have to add like all these things actually um, you can add like uh, yes you can add these this will come in your play games app so if you go to your play games app and find your app and these things like what are the game category you can add such mine's going to be like infinity runner but i'll just put like adventure save games of game icon and future graphics you can do a lot of things guys yes you can add your firebase here or platform is already linked so that's it for the setup in the play game services in the Google Play console. And in the next part of the series, that is part 2, we are going to create and add a simple leaderboard for your game guys. So stay tuned by subscribing my channel and I'll see you guys later. Adios, marios.